hello beautiful people i just woke up and i'm so excited because today is wedding dress try on day guys i'm literally gonna be wearing a white dress today and seeing the dress i want to get married in can you freaking believe it oh my god i literally look like a bean but i'm so excited i just wanted to talk to you guys straight away see ya guys today is wedding dress try on day my bridesmaids are gonna be here my mother my auntie and my fiance's mom is gonna be here with us trying on dresses so it's just gonna be so freaking cute it's gonna be such a nice day guys and of course i'm taking my besties along for the journey can't believe this day is here like you just think about this day you're just going through life and you're like oh my god one day i'm gonna be wearing a white dress and this and that and like today it's, it's happening it's happening it's happening so i'm so excited i'm beyond excited luckily the dress shop is like super close it's just like a 10 minute walk from me so it's nice and convenient i actually walked past the dress shop recently and i saw the most beautiful dresses in the window so i was like i have to go in in my previous vlog i actually showed me like going in the shop and just like seeing the dresses and i was like oh my god i'm so gonna come back here to try on dresses and the day has come i made the appointment like two weeks ago it's happening so i need to get out there to hop in the shower and then we can get glam together because i want to like be glam so that i can like know what i'm gonna look be on my wedding oh my god is that sleep that is so embarrassing but yeah i want to get glam so that like i know how i will look like when i'm getting married because i don't want to like not have makeup on and look messy so that like when i try on the dress i'm like mm, this dress is basic but really it's just because i look basic <laughs> so yeah let's hop in the shower we can do a full-on get ready with me we can chit chat while we get ready and then we need to figure out what is our bridal dress try on outfit like what's the vibe it's pretty cold outside to be honest so it needs to be something quite warm especially because i'm walking but the day's here the day's alright. Let's try and wedding dresses, besties. Okay, big deal. Later. Hey guys, it's time to beat my face for my bridal tryout. <laughs> I guess you can tell I'm excited, right? <laughs> You can tell I'm really excited. So guess what? We're gonna beat this face. How long do I have? Okay, it's 9.43. I need to leave in an hour, which is not too bad. I can just do a nice little 30 minute beat. You know, it doesn't have to be an hour and a half glam. The plan of action. Guys, why do I lose everything? I just had this brow um, brush and I was using it to do my brows and now I can't really get out here. Yeah. So yeah, guys, I thought we'd have a little get ready with me vibe, get ready with me little moment as we get ready to try on dresses. I can't lie, this is, I'm very new to this whole like brow setting your brows thing but i've been seeing the girls do it and i was like okay i think it's time i think it's time that i start doing the whole like laminated brow effect because all the girlies just look amazing when they do it i literally found this part of old like hair gel wax and this is what i'm using i did have the refi brow and it was so good but i think it's finished they actually look really good and laminated and i have really bushy brows so this is cute for me okay i think i like this okay brows they feel pretty stiff as well okay so let's do this nice okay so how are we feeling why do i feel like crying <laughs> why do i feel like crying i've been so emotional these past few days actually i don't know if it's my time of the month but i've just been emotional like i'm getting married guys like i'm literally getting married it's crazy it's so exciting though like and a lot of people have been asking me like oh, has it been stressful how's it been going planning a wedding and i was like it's been fun like we've been having fun we haven't found it stressful yet do you know what i mean which is kind of crazy because the other day i literally spoke to a bride she's getting married after me because i'm getting married in the summer 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 time 2023 and she was like oh my god it's so stressful isn't it and i was like um i can't relate because we haven't been finding it stressful i just really want to thank god shout out god right now because i'm telling you it's been so stress-free because of how good god is like the way that things have fallen into place is wild so just to give you guys an example of how things have literally been falling into place i have to tell you about how i got my wedding venue okay like this is crazy to me okay so basically i got proposed to september the 30th so it's been october it's been about four months since i got engaged which is crazy time flies i feel like time is flying but i feel like time is also slowing down it's weird me and my fiance are like we want to be married now we feel as if like time is slowing down like we're so excited and basically well if you guys watch my channel you know we do not live together we're currently with my cousin so that is like a big element of why we're really excited we're really excited to just do the next step of living together and just what a fun that we're gonna have like we're literally best friends so like imagine just like knowing that you're gonna get to move in with your best 
friend who you love so much like time just feels like it's not going fast enough <laughs> Just so cringy and corny to say but that is how we feel so yeah how we got the venue guys so i got proposed to september the 30th but let me tell you this let me tell you let's sit, have a cup of tea let me tell you let me tell you the story okay oh, oh god that's very dark okay so in august no i actually have to start at the beginning to tell you this story so a few years ago my best friend khadija she was going to the gym she's a gym girly she's a gym baddie okay so she was just going to the gym randomly right and then she met this girl in the gym and i feel like it was just like oh my god you're a girl in the gym i'm a girl in the gym and they just kind of just chatted they were like oh my god where do you live da -da 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 -da. Do you know just general chit chat like surface level conversations that you have with girls that you meet you're like oh my god let's be friends it was like really cute and then they were kind of like oh my god like let's stay connected let's like let's meet up let's go for coffee type thing and then you know so they exchanged each other's like instagrams this was literally like five years ago because i think we were still in college at the time and currently we finished college we finished university it's been like three years since university so that's how long it's been but she met her when we were in college and then they were exchange socials they were like yeah let's meet up for coffee da, 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 da. cool let's stay in touch but then they just never met up for coffee do you know when you meet someone one time and then you say oh my god we're gonna be besties we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and you just never see each other again because life do you know what i mean so that's what kind of happened with, between them over the years they just like kept each other on socials they would just like reply to each other's stories here and there do hot eyes reply to each other's comments like, oh my god you look cute girl do you know those type of vibes that was the type of friendship they had so they weren't real friends they just would literally just sometimes comment on each other's instagram pictures but it was Year, years went on do you know what i mean so the summer of last year my best friend was actually here she was in the uk she doesn't live here she lives in dubai but she was here because why was she here oh she was here for my sister's wedding i think she came back for the summer for my sister's wedding so that's why she was like around but yeah so we'll call the gym girl i'm trying to think of a name that i don't know someone called it simone let's call her simone so yeah so as years went on my friend now lives in dubai she only comes to the country like every like once or twice a year but years later guys simone is now engaged and about to be married and then simone invites my best friend to her wedding and then my best friend was like that's weird because guys like the only way they know each other is from that one time in the gym so my best friend was she like was this meant to be did you mean to invite me like i really don't know you that well do you know what i mean like they literally met once so my best friend was like grandy should i go to this wedding because i don't know this girl and then i was like i don't know if you should go like it's like a wedding is like intimate you want to be like happy for the couple you want to like celebrate with them and stuff but it's like if you don't know them because she definitely didn't know the groom because she didn't even know the bride barely she literally was not going to know a single soul at this wedding except for the girl that she met one time at the gym who she only connects with through like send each other heart eyes every once in a while so when she got the invite she was like like i don't know what to say like, like it's cute it's nice of her to invite me but like do i even go because i don't know her and i was like i don't know if you should go like, the wedding was approaching and she was like grandy like she said that i can bring a plus one do you want to go with me to this wedding and i was kind of like not really to be honest like i love weddings but it's kind of like i love them because i love the people who are getting married do you know what i mean i feel like weddings are obviously a really fun night but you have fun at a wedding because you love the people who are getting married but i literally didn't even know the girl from i didn't know her at all so then it was like the weekend of the wedding and me and my best friend like it was summer like we didn't really have a lot to do that day just to be completely honest it came to like the weekend of her wedding and then my best friend was like grandy the wedding is here like i'll be going to this wedding i was like i guess like i guess we're gonna go like it's nice of her to invite you so i guess we should just like go and show face literally guys i can't lie i almost didn't go because i was kind of like i don't know this girl why am i going to her wedding like it's so weird but my best friend was like grandy let's just go what we've done more random things than this so i was like i was like let's go so we went to this wedding and it's in my city it was only literally like 20 minute drive from where i live so we pulled up in a sri lanka and the venue i remember the feeling what was like what is this venue like how is this venue even here it's one of those places that if you don't know it exists you would never know it exists and it's like in the middle of my city so it's not like in like a big field but it literally feels like you are in another country i was like this literally looks like i'm in some sort of like country manor in like some sort of bridgerton movie so i was like how is this here it just doesn't feel like it's something that it's in my city anyway i attended the wedding i was like oh my god what a beautiful wedding what a beautiful venue i'm so happy i went because it was a lovely lovely day and the bride was so freaking gorgeous she was stunning so it was just a really nice evening so that was that that was in august didn't think about it ever again then i got engaged literally the next month and then um because my sister just got married she got married on the same month that i got proposed to which is actually really beautiful when you think about it she got married september 8th and i got engaged 30th of september so it was really nice that we had our things going on at the same time me and my sister are literally twins for real for real even even to do with our relationships our, our freaking partners birthdays are two days apart 
that just says it all that literally says it all of how much like twins we are okay this blush is doing a lot i need to relax anyway as soon as i got engaged i came back home and it was like so beautiful but then my sister who just got married as well as my cousin who just got married they were like okay grandy start planning your wedding now like start planning now and because obviously they'd both just got married so they knew what it was like they knew that it was such a long process they knew all the ups and downs that were about to happen so they were like okay grand if i can give you advice just start planning yesterday so literally i took that advice and i ran with it and we started planning the wedding we had a week or two we did nothing and then mid-october we were full-on planning this wedding so then the first thing obviously you need to get in a wedding is venues so then we started looking at venues we started looking around here there everywhere it was hard to find some weddings venues they're so pricey 14,000 pounds um baby girl in my current status 16 grand just on the venue a little bit out my budget just a, just a, just a, just a little bit out my budget so then i was just online every single day like venue 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 my fiance was looking at to be fair with me and my fiance how we've been planning our wedding it's like we kind of delegate tasks but we kind of just do it like innately we don't even be like you take that go i'm gonna take this go like we kind of just pick something and we kind of just start focusing on that thing like for example venues was like my thing i don't know why but i was just like okay i'm on venues and i was the one that was looking at venues every night but then he has taken like other things like the mc for example it was his thing like but we didn't necessarily have a conversation about it and be like you're doing mc like he just did the mc stuff and then i just did the venue stuff to get it like in terms of research and stuff so yeah with venues it was me i was online i was going on every website uk birmingham because i kind of wanted to say local and i live in birmingham so i was like birmingham wedding venues every night and I, I knew i always wanted a marquee as well and then i'd be like marquee wedding venues in my city da, 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 da. just finding crazy prices and then i was just like oh my gosh what are we gonna do because i'm not i'm not paying 14 grand i'm just freaking not like i'm not doing that like i'm not doing that <laughs> also i love the fact that me and my fiance when it's come to planning weddings this wedding planning season he's so on it like he that man is just as excited as i am if not a little bit more like that's how you know like he's the man for me because i don't i don't know how it would have been just so annoying if i was just had to do every single wedding thing and he was just like get yeah, babe whatever you want princess just do whatever i'll go with it no he's literally been so on it he's got his own opinions he's got his own dreams of what he wants his wedding to look like so it's literally a team effort from start to finish and i love that because it just shows like he's just as excited like genuinely just as excited as me and it's so nice so yeah i was just seeing crazy prices and i was like what the heck are we gonna do and then i had a brainwave and i was like hmm what about that wedding venue wedding that i went to in august i wonder what their prices is like and i wonder like what what it would be like to get married there because obviously i went to that wedding in august and i loved it i was like this is so so beautiful so then i was like okay here goes nothing let me just inquire there and see how it is oh no first i was like let me show my fiance the venue and then see how oh also some of the venues that i'd kind of started to see that were like kind of in our price range just over still over our price range but kind of in it i was showing my fiance and he was like yeah it's okay and i was like i know even me i'm not obsessed with this so we hadn't made any plans to see any venues yeah and then i was like what about that venue let me just call up and see that wedding that i went to with a girl that we didn't know and then oh yeah no first of course i sent it to my fiance i was like babe what do you think about this place and he was like i love it and i was like i love it too i went to the wedding there and it was the most beautiful wedding so then i was like okay let me inquire call them up i called them up they told me their prices and their prices was the best prices that we had ever seen so far in the hunt for wedding venues and we were like okay this is insane so then we booked in to actually go and see the venue and guys we fell in love like we fell in love like because obviously i'd already seen it so i already knew i was obsessed with the place but my fiance hadn't seen it also what i did going into it i didn't want to like pressure him too much i didn't want to be like oh my god babe it's the best place in the world oh my god i kind of just went in quite neutral i was like i kind of want to know what you think like let me know what you think of the place and he was obsessed with it and then i was obsessed with it and we just instantly knew like this is our wedding venue like we've done it this is it they told us the prices it made so much sense oh my gosh guys we can't we even got a better price than what they actually advertised do you know when i say god is so good so after we saw the venue we sat down with the manager of the place and then you have to like talk about prices now and the price that we'd seen online guys he told us like a price that was like 500 pounds cheaper so we got 500 pounds cheaper on the price that was even advertised which is wild when he said the price me and my fans looked at him and we were like yeah sounds he was like is that, is that okay for you guys we were like we were like yeah absolutely sounds great because 
And we were like, if he's messed up with the numbers, we're not gonna be the one to tell him. We're not gonna be the one to say, oh no, I think it's supposed to be a bit more than that. And he gave us a deal that was even cheaper than what we thought it was gonna be. And it's the best venue, like aesthetically and location wise for everything that I had seen online. So we basically booked the venue, guys. We saw the venue, fell in love, booked it. And the only way that I knew this venue existed was because I went to that wedding in August. Tell me that that's not a good story. So guys, that's the story of how I got my wedding venue. Don't you think that's wild, bro? Also guys, what's extra crazy is that that wedding venue just doesn't exist online. Like, cause I was literally online every single night, like trying to find a venue. It wasn't online. Like this venue just didn't exist online. And that's why I didn't even remember it until I just randomly remembered about that wedding in August. So I just wanna thank everyone involved. I wanna thank my best friend for meeting that girl in the gym. I wanna thank my best friend for making Making me go to this wedding of a girl I didn't even know. I want to thank you to the girl who got married that was kind and gracious enough to invite a girl that she barely knew to her wedding. Because guys, I promise you, I wouldn't have that venue if I didn't go to that wedding. I, I might still be looking for venues right now. So yeah, that is just one example of how things have just fallen into place when it has come to this whole wedding season thing. Like, it's crazy. Hi, bestie. Fantastic. Amazing. That is my bride, one of my bridesmaids who just entered, Laris. She came all the way from London to come and see me try and wear her dresses, guys. Like, when I invited her to come, I was like, I'm going to tell all my bridesmaids. So I was like, if they can't come, like, it's totally fine. At least when I messaged her, I was like, babe, uh, I was saying, trying on dresses this Saturday, but if you can't come, like, it's fine. Like, you live in a whole other city, you know? And then she was like, I would never miss it for the world and I was like oh my god so she's literally come just to see me try and dress it and then she's going back to London this evening so yeah it just literally means the world to me I'm so excited my aunties are here my mom is gonna be here today my fiance's mom is coming it's gonna be a whole like beautiful day so yeah my beat is pretty much done I just want to put a bit more powder and do my lips Oh, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't do glass because what if I get it on the dress? Should I try a matte lip? I'm really not a matte lip girly though. Okay, I've got a matte lipstick here. Let's try this. I literally haven't done matte lipstick in about 10 years. It's quite pretty though. The feminine urge to put on glass over every lip look. Do we like this lip? I'm not mad at it. It's a bit creamy. I think I need it to be a bit pinkier. It's not bad. I'm, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glass. Hopefully I don't get it on the dress. Okay, that's actually quite pretty and not too glossy. So who is she? Guys, cause I'm a social media exec, my whole life is just to be on Instagram and TikTok, scrolling, making content, all of that stuff. So I'm just like a walking, talking TikTok sound machine. Like I, I will just burst out into like, can I, can I catch another flight? <laughs> I'm just gonna have a good like I just start doing that all the time and I'm like this is a side effect of the job but anyway a little bit of highlight and then we're done I'm not gonna bother sticking on eyelashes I just every opportunity that I can get to not put on eyelashes I just take it like oof I just know like I love eyelashes obviously but if I can get away with not doing it I'm just not gonna do it I've done my eyebrows differently today like obviously you guys saw me um, doing that and they're definitely darker than I would normally have them but I think they're pretty my mom is giving my friends like inspirational words of wisdom right now. I can just hear it. She's so cute. I love like pink based highlighters. They will forever be my favorite. Okay, she's done. She's pretty. She's about to try and wedding dresses. The brows are definitely out of my comfort zone, but I love them anyway. I still really like them. A bit more mascara. But yeah, guys, she's ready. She's cute. It was 26, so that's good. I've still got 20 minutes before I have to leave. I'm just gonna put my outfit together. I don't really know what to wear. I wanna wear something quite soft and comfortable and warm because it's a bit of a walk. Like, this is your 10 minute walk, but. So yeah, guys, close up. This is the finished glam. Hey guys, so this is the completed look uh, for yeah. my little yeah. dress try on vibe. I'm wearing this white like maxi dress, knitted maxi dress. And this coat is from H&M. Guys, everyone's just talking in the background, but that's totally fine. But yeah, we are headed right now to the dress shop. Let's go. So excited. We're so excited. Let's go. We just walk into the dress shop on our way. Guys, don't you think this is so funny? My fiance's name is Freddy slash Frederick. And um, we just walked past Frederick Road to get to the dress shop. Guys, look. 
It says Frederick Road. How crazy is that? That is so funny. I cannot. Who do we have here? It's giving some of my bridesmaids. Hi. 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 Hi sister. How are you feeling? That's how I'm feeling. You're yeah. <laughs> looking like a wife though, I can't lie. Mm -hmm. It's cold. Cream, you know, bridal aesthetic. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, that's pretty. Stunning. Oh my god, Yeah. I didn't argue with them. I said, yeah, my name is. <gasps> That really is nice. gorgeous. Wow. That is not simple. Yeah. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Oh, pockets. Period. For your glass or whatever. You could do well with pockets. <laughs> Put some lip gloss. Look at this too. No, that is extra. I'll try it on. Yeah, you should. It's giving Met Gala vibes. Yeah, it's giving. We send this fire and ice. This. Oh. Um, My yeah, I have to try this. Goodness, I have to. No, you have How to. How insane! That is a phenomenal. Like insanity. I'm actually shocked. Yeah, it's scary. Like it's, it's literally beautiful. That is a gasp moment. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Try like big. Yeah, I definitely want to try oh, big. Oh my gosh. How no. crazy is I want this? Why try like a ball gown? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just to see. Just yeah. to see yourself yeah. in a ball Shape gown. Yes. Yeah. Like. Signature waist and then out like yeah. this. Yeah. This is quite stunning as well. All of them are insane. I can't even. I'm here with one of the maid of honors. Hi, 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 Hi. You on duty? You, you ready? <laughs> so excited. I'm so freaking ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, You want it a bit lower? Yeah, more like a fish tail. The colour? Yeah, and it's a bit nude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And do you like the amount of lace on there or do you want less lace? I quite like the lace. Do you like the lace? Yeah, and I don't think it's good. That one. That shape. Fab. Okay, okay. Alright, one down. On to the next one. The other maid of honor is here. I got the maid of honors right now. Ooh, you really look cute. Guys, she's been trying on dresses and she just looks stunning in every single one. I don't know what it is. Is it like when you put on a wedding dress, you just look like you just look like someone? Like a bride. Like. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
sing. Yeah. 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 But she can wow, sing. So is this heavy though? Yeah. This one is a lot of material. Yeah. 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 It's a lot. <laughs> And it's so structured. This one is structured. It's not weighing me down. Okay. okay. I, I like the bottom, I'm not sure. That yeah, yeah I think so. I think the top, I don't know. Do you like it's a bit hard. It feels a bit edgy. Do you like the one that feels a bit flowy? Yeah. 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 Artistic. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Got it. Got you. Very creative. Yeah. Working. <laughs> I feel like a fashion queen, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a bit more yeah. editorial. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Yeah, the sleeves, yeah, one too many. Yeah, the bodice and the bottom. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, get rid of one. That's fine. Get rid of one. Yeah. Oh, Even make it thinner yes. if you like. Oh, wow. It's, it's done it. Done it. Done it. I love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's not even oh, wow. that big. Like, like this, this is quite a statement well. sort of dress. Yeah. 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 You need to make a statement, Chad. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Ooh. You want to wear it? You want to wear it? This looks crazy. Oh, that looks stunning. No. That looks so much nicer. Yeah. This looks yeah. 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 mind blowing. Everything in the back. Everything is really beautiful. Sleeves, yeah, it's always, I think it's a sleeveless bag. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know what? It's hard. 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 Oh, oh nice! <gasps> wow! Oh, oh my god! Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 my I'm gonna take a picture from this angle. Oh! <laughs> you look phenomenal! Yeah. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Oh my god! Wow. 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 Oh my god, it's giving you Harry? Not Harry. Let's see, Grandi. Wow, real good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's my bride. See you later, princess. Stunning. Pretty. It's so sparkly. It is. So beautiful. So guys, we are done with the dress trial. Well, guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the big dress. So I really wasn't sure. So I tried a few stinky, a few big, and the big ones. Obsessed. I didn't find the dress today. It was my first time, so I didn't really expect to anyway. But it was so much fun. I'm now gonna head to brunch. But it was beautiful. There was one time I did kind of tear up a bit because I just like, wow, I'm getting there. I think it was the moment when I put on the veil. I was like. I look like a bride, what the heck? So yeah, I think it's gonna be big, but maybe stinky. But to be fair, I probably, in the next stretch, I probably will try more stinky. It's not exactly sure, yeah? Well, excited. So we now finished the dress shop, and we're heading to brunch. Ooh, the sun is shining, honey. Let's go. Love story about a woman who had a train oh, yeah. She was like, she saw this guy on the train every single day. She just thought, wow, that's the guy for me. Mm. And then one day, she literally, she would even go into work and tell everyone, oh my god, I saw a train guy. <laughs> and then I think someone was like, just write him a letter and then hand it to him and then we'll see. She wrote a letter, oh my god, I think you're so cute, you're a train guy, I see you every day, I think you're cute, whatever. And then she, I think she gave her email because it was like less deep than the number. Yeah. So he emailed her, he was like, oh my god, thank you so much. 
really sweet of you, but I'm married. Either I'm married or like I'm, I'm, I live with my long time yeah. now. Yeah. She was like, that's fine, no problem. Done. She's not getting that like, yeah. She just wouldn't avoid him. Yeah. Like different characters. A long time ago, like a year later, she got another email like, hey, so I'm no longer with that person. Oh, yeah. Do you ever want to go for a coffee? They're still oh, together to the day, they've got like three kids. So. Oh, wow. But yeah, because you, ne you never know, this actually could be your husband. Oh, I don't want your husband. Yeah. Or you can even just say like, oh, yeah. we like a scarf. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you wear me? Like a <laughs> yeah, we like a bomber. Like, where's the bra? I don't know. I need my brother. I've known this is nice to like mm. see someone in my This is fun and it's cute. Yeah. But like, yeah. my headspace right now, I just have to come there for a relationship. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot going on, like, new things mm. in my world right now. So. I get you. Hello, beautiful people. We are now back from the dress try on and brunch i'm so full oh my gosh i'm so full i'm ready to burst but yeah guys it was an amazing day gotta try on dresses gotta see how i'm gonna look as a bride guys it was so beautiful it did get emotional at a point when i put on a veil oh laris is leaving i'm gonna say bye to her okay laris is gone she came all the way from london so it just meant the world to me that she came what was i saying yeah when i put on the veil and there was this dress that i really loved and then when i put on the veil i was like i'm getting married it just felt so real but yeah guys it was a beautiful day thank you so much for going on this journey with me if you watched until the end of the bridal dress try on vlog you gotta put this emoji so i know that you're a real one but yeah guys we're getting married we have just over seven months to the wedding day so thank you so much for just being on this journey with me as we plan a whole freaking wedding but yeah so exciting so much more exciting things to come and i'm still gonna try on more dresses next week so we'll see how that goes that'll probably be my next weekly vlog so stay tuned thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you have an amazing day bye Mwah.